What's going on, Adventure Gang? My name is Denzel Pratt, and you're watching another episode of Man or Explorer. So today's video, we had a couple storms roll through this week, and I think that a lot of snakes are probably going to be undercover. And so I'm going to be flipping a little bit of cover and then also doing a little bit of road cruising this evening. So hopefully you guys stick around and enjoy this video. Without further ado, do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's adventure time. Little narrow mouth toad. It's my first find today. It's a chunky little individual. Maybe grab it. That's super cool. Let's get her back out of here. Hey, buddy. I don't know what these little worm things are. Some type of grub. Maybe some excellent fishing bait. Man, I expect a mud snake to be under here one day. Ooh, buddy. Look at that. Something been using these holes for sure. Copperhead. Yes, sir. First one of the day. So here's a better look at that copperhead. Very brown individual. Those broken bands on the back is really gorgeous, man. Look at that. Copperheads are one of the few pit vipers that we have here in this area. Um, as you can see, it has those... Uh, so he's on the, he's on the move. <laughs> he's on the move. I don't have any hooks or anything with me. A lot of people will get copperheads confused with water moccasins or even banded water snakes just because of their pattern. But uh, if you know if you look closely, you could distinguish them pretty easily. Let's keep moving. Oh. Skink. Let me get under control first. Just crawling up my shirt. Fix the log back. This seems to be a very gravid female. Don't want to put too much pressure on her. Let's get out of here. Bunch of little crawdads down there. It's a nice fishing bait. Uh, whoa! <coughs> whoa! 
That's the first. My turtle in the cover. Let's get him. <clears throat> hey, that was loud. Choo hoo. Look at that. <laughs> Actually, this is a little musk turtle, I think. We'll wash him off really quick. Yep. This is a little musk turtle. These mosquitoes ain't playing with me now. Look at that little fella. <laughs> Let me get y'all a closer look. So here's a better look at this musk turtle. This little fella is beautiful, man. Super clean individual, but he is stinky. I don't want to handle him too long just because I don't want to get that smell all over me. But uh, I'm going to release him right back in the water next to the tin that he was under. Bye-bye, little fella. <laughs> I do apologize about the loud sound out here, man. I'm right next to the highway. And so that's the reason why everything sounds pretty loud. Mmm, something was hanging out. I came to check this little rock pile next to the road. We got my first corn of the day. Yes, sir. Put him down right here. Another snake got away from me up there in that pile too. I don't know exactly what it was. It looked like it was a coat trip or something. But uh, let me get y'all a closer look with my cell phone. So here's a better look at this corn snake. Then shed. He's literally shedding in my hand right there. But uh. I don't want to mess with them too, too long just because I have a fishing tournament that I'm participating in with the buddies. We're going to see if we can win a couple dollars, man. Hi, right, buddy. There he goes. He was just sitting on the bank when I, pop, when I came up. Honestly, that might have been another corn snake that I seen. He went down this way. But uh, let's keep moving. About to dip out. <laughs> yeah, he's out of there. <laughs> he went into the second layer. It. Here we have the gopher tortoise, which is a keystone species here in the sand hills. They make those large burrows that you see, that indigo snakes, EDBs, um, gopher frogs, all kinds of different species of animals use as shelter. And this fella is trying to make his way across the road. Let me get you a closer look. See, so here's a better look at this gopher tortoise. Probably gonna mosey his way on right now. All right, gang, so my first snake of the night goes to the Eastern Garter Snake. This one's a little baby. It's just making his way across the road after that storm. 
and hopefully that means that a lot of snakes are going to be moving here in this short window before it cools down tonight so let's keep on moving let's get them off the road Bye, buddy. There you go, this game. Ooh. So we got snake number two. My first pygmy of the year. <laughs> there we go, gang. I'm not gonna mess with this guy. I don't have any hooks with me or anything. That's really cool, though. <laughs> Bye, little buddy. Yes, sir. First pygmy of the night. Let's keep moving. There's a car coming. So I saw a fresh hit cotton mouth before this one. This is my fourth snake of the night. Beautiful little banded water snake. Let's get him off the road. Come on, little buddy. Ay! He's going in this direction. Bye, fella. Here he goes, gang. Let's keep moving. Bro, I literally wasn't even able to move the truck. Bandit number two. Same spot. Oh. He's biting. All right, gang. So we get band of water snake number two. A lot of people get these confused with the cotton mouth, but as you can see, the pattern is a little different. They got a lot of reds, and that head is also a lot different. Gorgeous snake, man. Let's get him out of here. Bye, bubba. See you later. <laughs> Let's keep looking, gang. My first Scarlet King of the night. Let's go, baby. Look at you go, little fella. Ooh, buddy. Yes, sir. First Scarlet King of the night. All right, gang, so I turned off the truck and pulled over a little bit so I could get a better look at this Scarlet King snake. As you can tell, the bands go all the way across the bottom half of the snake, which helps to differentiate it from scarlet snakes. This is my first scarlet king of the year, which is an awesome feeling. I knew this thunderstorm would bring some of these guys out and let's release them and keep on looking, man. I wanna make sure that I encounter as much snakes as possible on this road. Bye, little fella. <laughs> And I'm changing up my gloves every single time I handle a snake. That way it helped to prevent spreading germs and diseases across different animals, man. So let's keep looking. <laughs> we got our first mud turtle of the night. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Come here, buddy. This guy is gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful mud turtle. Bye, buddy. <laughs> awesome. Well, this is a first. <laughs> Got a little ring neck crossing. Let's get him off the road. The car is coming. Bye, buddy. Got my first copperhead of the night. Yes, sir. Nice looking little fella. Nice. Let's coach this little fella off the road. Goes. 
seems like the movement has died down a whole bunch. Haven't seen much activity since the last copperhead, which was about 20 minutes ago. Um, it seems like that hour and a half right after that storm came through, things were moving across, you know, sitting on the road for a little bit, warming up. Um, but the temperatures dropped off pretty quick tonight. It's about 70 degrees now. And I expected it to slow down pretty quick. But uh, I guess I'm going to be headed to the house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and stick around for more videos to come, man. Yeah.